Hello friends, in my previous video, I have already discussed about GAM5 guideline and category of the software. To watch that video, link is available in the description box. Today I will discuss typical approach of software validations as per the GAM5 guideline. I am requesting you to understand this video, please watch my previous video. GAM stands for Good Automated Manufacturing Practice. GAM provides a guide for risk-based approach to computer system validations where a system is evaluated and assigned to predefined category based on its proposed use and complexity. Categorizing the system helps guide to the written of system documentation including specification, test, everything in the between. Now, I am telling you what is the computer system validation. If you are thinking it's a very rocket science, don't worry, it's not very tough, it's not a rocket science. If you are a biological background or pharmaceutical background, you can easily perform the computer system validation. You, you have not need any software related background like BTEC in IT, MS in IT, not need this type of qualification. Now I am telling you what is computer system validation. The FDA define software validation as confirmation by examination and provision of objective evidence that software specification confirm to user needs and intended use and that the particular requirements implemented through software can be completely fulfilled. Now I am telling you about typical approach for category wise software validation as per GAM5 guideline. Category 1 is the infrastructure software like operating system. This software not used directly for business purpose but supports manage the computer hardware network infrastructure. Programming language, operating system, network monitoring software, batch job scheduling tool, security software, antivirus, these are the category 1 software. Now what is the typical approach for this validation? Record version number. Verify the connection of the installation by following approved installation procedure. These are the maximum things for the validation procedure. Now the category 2. Category 2 is the firmware. This category is no longer used in the GAM5 guideline. It was present in the GAM4 guideline. However, I am giving some brief idea about the firmware. Firmware is the computer program that is embedded in the hardware system and is an essential part of hardware it is sometimes called also embedded software an example microcontrol a part of the microprocess third is the category 3 that is the non configured product this type of software no customization and no configurations perform example cota software and instrument software but what is the typical approach for this validation this type of software Abbreviated life cycle approach like validation plan, combined URS, functional, design specification, testing against the predefined acceptance criteria and the validation report is the very essential. A risk based approach for the supplier assessment. URS, record version number, every connection installation by the following approved installation processor. Risk based approach against the requirement and the SOP need to be prepared for the routing user purpose. For this uh, software validation, functional and the design specification may not be necessary and can be compiled in a one document. Validation of category 3 software may be performed directly on the production environment based on the risk assessment. Supplier assessment may not be necessary, but supply assessment can be done based on the risk assessment report. Now the category 4 software that is the configured product. The standard procedure of the software can be configured from front end to use specification function without altering the basic programming. Changes in the coding from background to meet the business requirements or need. Example, ERP system, SAP system and the LIMP software. Now, what are the typical approach for the validation of this type of software? First is the life cycle approach, means validation master plan, URS, function, design specification, uh, and testability, documented testing against the predetermined acceptance criteria and the validation report must be prepared. And second is the risk based approach for the supplier assessment. Demonstrate supplier as a adequate QMS tool. 
record version number and verify the installation by the following approve installation program Rigspex test against the requirement and FOP must be prepared for uses of this software now the category 5 that is the custom application this system or sub system are developed to meet the specification needs the regulatory compliance this software is custom designed and coded to suit the business this may be custom extension to an existing system example internally or externally developed by the IT system for any software custom ladder logic or custom firmware now what is the typical approach for the category 5 validation it is same like as configurable software like category 4 software but for here with the supplier risk assessment supplier audit must be performed category 4 and the category 5 software shall be tested in test environment like QA environment followed by the validation environment that is the user acceptance testing like UAT environments after successful UAT software must be installed in the production environment category 5 software unit testing shall be performed in the development environment friends in the uh, GAM5 guideline one V structure is available for computer system validation I will discuss about the V structure in my next video if you have any doubt regarding this video regarding this uh, computer system validation and the categorization of the uh, uh, software mm. which type of requirement for the software qualification you can comment me I will definitely reply you if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel with hit the bell icon thank you